can you guess what? What is it? Guess now, guess. What, what, what? Do you remember Raymond? That first short boy. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's madly in love with you, Annie. Isabella, what is it? I don't want to date. Grow up, girl. Why are you acting as if you're in front of my one? Mind you, I'm in SS3. I want to go out with flying colors, eh? I don't want to date. If you're interested, go outside and get them, not me. Annie, you're, you're talking as if with me, I didn't come here to learn. Why are you behaving so naive? All these things you've got, eh? All these things, why are you keeping it for Annie? It doesn't mean I should share it outside, hmm? As you can see, it's like you don't understand what I'm trying to say. It's okay, it's okay. When money starts flowing, we will calm down. It's BJ. Hey, look here now. Onto the matter, you know. Everything what we do. Na je je, na je je, na je je. Na je je, 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 na je je. See, I'm sitting here with my eyes open, so I know the last thing I saw. She's okay. Um, apparently she has gone home. Uh, maybe her, she has a flat battery. Alright. I really don't know what is wrong with Ivy. Why is she being so unfair to Eric, despite the love he has for her? You call that one love. That is an understatement. I really don't know what is wrong with her. I really wish I had a guy like Eric. Someone that can understand you and allow your opinion. Are we talking about Douglas? That brat. I'm just sick and tired of him. His brutal and arrogant life always wanted to go against my will. Nicole, I need a guy that is soft, gentle, and cool. So, what becomes of Douglas? Well, I'm just looking for the opportunity to break up with him. I don't remain single. Than continue with such a beast. Girls and their wahala. I beg you. Like seriously, my drama 217 note is giving me headache. You still haven't found that note yet? I have not! It's the last time I dropped this note and it's not here. 
Have you asked Ivy about it? She's not with it. Maybe you give it to someone in school. Think. I don't know. Wait. It's like I left that note at Douglas' place. Why not call him to confirm? I don't have his number. Why? Nothing. Okay, let me just dress up and go to his house. I'm coming. I know Ivy to be very ambitious, but never for once did I think she could come this far. What else do you expect from such a girl? So what are you going to do now? Honestly, I don't know. Till she comes back. Thank you. Please don't do anything stupid, okay? Because the guys. Seems not to be in a good mood. Eric, everything is fine, okay? And you expect me to believe that? Come on, sit down. Huh? See, You liar! So I knew you have the iPhone tree to open your big white mouth and lie in my presence. Oh, oh so you're scared to say it. So you're afraid to say it. Come on, tell everyone, tell them that I called you and my boyfriend on his goddamn bed, you bitch. What? <laughs> Are you sure what you're saying? <laughs> I'm so your friend. Is it true? And 
Tell me. Teach you. Talk to me! She can't play this. <laughs> How so are you? You know you need to do a man's side. That's the way she is. Just just leave her. Maybe when she comes in, we can ask her about it. I'm fine. We are fine. She's here with me. No, mom, don't send. I've not exhausted your other money you sent for me last week. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Thank you for calling. I love you. Bye. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Go, go. Go, go. <laughs> See that here. Yeah. What for you? What yes. is it now? What is your problem? What is what is wrong with you? Come on, start. Just wait, just wait, just wait. We have to talk. Talk about what? I mean, we need to talk about you and everything about you. How about me? Come on, Clara. You guys already know everything about me. I don't know. Goody. Yeah. Why are you like this? How am I like? I mean, you don't club. You don't drink. You don't even have a boyfriend. My dear, when was the last time you even had a kiss? <gasps> So this is what this is about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm on girls. It's not like I'm trying to be perfect or something. Super story. Clara and Kiki. The thing is, I come from this family where nothing happens. I, I lost my dad when I was 15 years old. Oh my and my mom, I'm all she's got. Like I just I just want to make her proud. Sorry about your dad. No, it's, it's okay. okay. It's, it's okay. It's told in the past. I've moved on. Okay, and talking about clubbing, <laughs> you know now, Kiki, I can't do that. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's not good for my body. And drinking, the highest thing I can take is more. I bottles. can't even stand it. <laughs> Twelve, right? <laughs> and talking about your know, boyfriend, I mean, <laughs> I don't need, I don't need that for now. I'm fine the way I am. I'm not complaining. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> All these things you guys have just said, it's not what I want. Okay. What do you want? It's simple. I want God and I want my dream to come to reality. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want God. I get that out of the time. My dear. Mm -hmm. See, we all love God. You do? Yeah. You guys do? Yes. And you go on living a displeasing life, right? Oh, please. Let me just sum up a Sunday service job. <laughs> All I'm saying is that you guys should stop this 
life. It's not good. I hear you. Look at this one. Stop it, Tiki. Stop. You have what you want. I wonder why you I'm not complaining, Clara. I'm fine the way I am. Okay. Thank you. 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 Th
I'm no longer interested. Just hold your stupid love to yourself. See, don't call this number again. No. Tenny, have you tried the number this morning? Babe, it's of no use. That person don't claim that phone. The most annoying part of it all is my SIM card. Where do I start from? All my contacts, how do I get them back? How? It's just so annoying. Tenny, you just have to keep trying the number. I know fit. How do you bring the person has conscience? He would have picked my call all this while. The phone is ringing. Hello? Hello? Please, the phone in your possession belongs to my friend. And we need to get it back. Even if it means us paying any amount of money, we are ready to pay you. I don't need your money. I don't. I really don't need your money. But I promise I'm going to return the phone. How can we get it? I actually have this this morning and um, I'll be running up by 10 a.m. Okay, let's meet at the cafeteria by 10. Cafeteria is okay. I hope you keep to your promise. I promise I'll be there. I'll be there. Thank you. Man, what did he say? Is he bringing it? Relax, Joe. He said he's going to meet us at the cafeteria by 10. Now he has test this morning. I hope he does that, please. He just get my phone. I'm missing it. Hope he does. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. Hi, girls. Good morning. Hi, Ivy. When, when did you go to this early? Just went out and get some fresh air. <laughs> fresh air indeed. How was the night? Fine. Excuse me. Hi. My name is Esther Samuel. And I played the role of Nicole in the movie JJ City. JJ City is a campaign against social devices like HIV and AIDS, drug abuse, and more that you will see in the movie. I know you're wondering, who is Nicole? Well, Nicole is a young, innocent girl that started at university in an early age. And when she got into the university, she got into a very bad relationship that didn't earn well. And from then, she started making amends to the mistake that she made in the past. My advice to you out there is don't wait until you make a mistake before you try correcting your life. Stay away from bad company. Try to make amends. If you're already in the mistake, try to make amends and correct them. Don't see yourself as small. Like me, I'm not small. I see myself big and mighty. So stay clear and be good. Avoid cultism. Avoid drugs, avoid other things that is not good for your life. Start now to make your ways right. Be good. Thank you.